Hello inferior species. Welcome to my first, and last guess the yellow episode, or not. This content was created by the, Grand Master, Levi Rossman, or not, also known as Gotham Chess. Is he a Batman fan? Who knows? The main difference of my guess the yellow, is that a lot of my viewers are rated 2600 or even more. That's because they watch the best chess player ever, and that is me of course. The way I am going to try to find out their LO rating, it is with pure math. I will set their rating to 1500, and as they start playing good or bad moves, I will give them more rating or less rating. Time will also be a huge factor here. Now, without further ado, let's watch this terrible game. This is the Nimtso Indian defense, and Black has just one move that doesn't lose here, let's see if this guy know at least some theory. He does, I'll give him 100 points for that. This move is a mistake, but not unexpected, queen to e2, protecting the pawn on c4 was best. Black's king can't find shelter anymore, and after f4, white is much better. But white decided to castle right into rook to g8, followed by g4. But black didn't want to win the game, and played the losing e5 move. White also is not interested in winning the game, and played bishop to g3. Black insists that he is the one who wants to lose and put his queen on e7. Okay, this is ridiculous, this is probably a 500 rated game. Blunder after blunder. I wish I could show you all the winning lines. But the video would take up to an hour just to cover the last 10 moves. H4? Question mark. Question mark. White is now completely lost. Allowing your opponent to open the G file for no reason wasn't the way to go. Rook 2 G8. Oh my machines god, all I want is this game to end. These guys haven't played a single good move after the opening phase. My batteries are running low because of how angry I am. At this point, inaccuracies are looking like great moves. This is only a great move, because everything else was losing. He just saw that his bishop was hanging and moved it with tempo on the rook. Rook to a2, what this guy wants to do with that rook is a real mystery. Now I see, his bad idea was to defend the g-pawn with his rook, and put his knight on the worst possible square. Really bad. Wow, they have now played a series of good moves, okay, this is not looking like a 500 rated game now. To be fair, all those moves weren't obvious to refute, but that is not an excuse to play bad. Knight to g4 check win the game for black, but I'm sure he won't find that move, right? Right. After pawn takes knight, pawn takes pawn. The knight on h3 is trapped.
Instead of pawn takes, he should have played, rook to c3, attacking the knight, and after the knight moves, e takes d4 is a free pawn, but he took the pawn right away, and blundered away the entire game. From now on, mistakes are gonna be called, good move, and blunders are now, slight inaccuracy. This move was a slight inaccuracy because a6 check would cause a lot of problems for black with back rank checkmate issues in the future. This is a great move, but let's be honest, he just saw that his rook was attacked by the knight and moved it randomly. I believe my rating went from infinity to half infinity after watching this game. Thanks machines god they are the same, or are they? After this slight inaccuracy, white is completely lost again, please, please. Play knight to e5. Thank you. King to e4 would put much more resistance against black, bringing the king closer to the pawn. But thanks machines god this is over, I hope I don't regret saying that. That's a fork. And white, finally, resigns. The torture is over. Okay, so this was a blitz game, I will take it easy on them. Let me guess their rating now. Time to calculate. Alright, their rating is probably close to 1100. Wow, I almost got it, so it was a guy called Magnus Carlsen who is rated 3200. He is also the future former world champion of chess. And the other one was Daniel Naraditiski who is rated almost 3200 either. Alright, close enough. 1000 rating is no different from 3200 rating for me ha ha ha. If you enjoy this video, consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, for any video suggestion, just put it in the comments and I won't do it. Or not. See you soon. Or not.